Now, sin since this whole thing at this house, my, my friend has moved to a different house. But I just want to show this video, too, of uh, the problems with their heat. That, well, like, basically their heat didn't work. Uh, this shows the reasons why, and it really, um, to be completely honest, it's surprising that this house manages to slide through inspections. Take a look at it. All right, so look. Mm -hmm. Let me explain this to you guys and why it's not Hold safe. On. All right, so does this even look safe to you, first no. of all? No. Okay, so what happens is you pump water in here mm -hmm. such to create on this meter between 8, to 8 and 15 PSI, optimally 12 mm -hmm. PSI. You pump water, pushing a button here, mm -hmm. making sure not to touch these pipes or else you'll get like third degree burns. <laughs> You push water in for quite a bit of time. Really? Because your idea, well, the idea is to get it up to 12 mm -hmm. PSI. So that's quite a bit of water. Problem is we can't get it to that PSI because the radiators leak. Mm -hmm. So we have an unsafe pressure, and that's why water can't reach the top level. <laughs> water can't reach the top level because the radiators leak. It's a catch-22, and it's a horrible circle. Watch. Now, uh, let's say I let go of the water. It should light up. Hopefully we won't light up with it. And if we do, we have this video recording to sue by. For our dead bodies. Stop it. Down there, there's a pilot light. Mm -hmm. And that's never supposed to go out. Um, and it goes out daily, hourly, I'm guessing. No, it's not the pilot light that goes out. It's the water that runs out so there's nothing to create <clears throat> heat. Mm -hmm. Once the system, I guess, I don't even know how this can sense anything. But the water is supposed to cause this to turn on because now that there's water in it, it's going to sense that the thermostat is not balancing out with the temperature we want based on temperature in the room. <laughs> now, what? What? down here this label says burner access door must be in place when main burners are lighted. Now, those main burners are what are not on right now. Mm -hmm. When they're lit, there is no <coughs> door. Obviously. If something, any type of cardboard here, which we did not place this cardboard here, this cardboard was here, should a draft or maybe somebody drunk from another place or something stumble by here and these combustibles by draft or by stumbling land in those burners this house will light on fire nice and all of these wires here are naked and i'm i'm oh wow i don't really know how they can pass inspection i don't know what kind of laws would protect wires like these these are these don't even go anywhere <laughs> and at times you how can funny would it be gas. if that was the ground Huh? How funny would it be if that wire just not going anywhere was the, was the ground? I yeah. So there's white paint over here. When <laughs> we're gonna use it, so we are. When this, when all these pipes are hot and the heat is running, if you mm -hmm. spit on them, the spit evaporates instantaneously. Yeah, well, you just mm -hmm. spit on it. No, I'm saying like just if you test it, if you drop water on it, it evaporates instantaneously. So that's what's wrong with the heating system. There is supposed to be. My dad explained this to me, but I don't remember what these pipe, these pumps do. Mm -hmm. I think that's what pumps water up. This doesn't look safe. Yeah. And these boilers are... He told me that, that... definitely doesn't look safe. Well, certainly not, but... So this is why we are moving. We're not moving because we feel like it, or because we don't have... Cheese. I don't want to die. Yeah, we're moving because this is not something that I trust. Another thing, because the pressure is not high enough, the pipes are not filled with water. Mm -hmm. So what happens is when steam is created and it's leaking out of the radiators, it creates air pockets in the pipes. And those air pockets cause that banging, clanging, violent noise that we hear when the heat is running. You know that one I'm talking about? It sounds like there's a war happening down here. Wow. And my mom, I was taking a nap today, and my mom asked me, she's like, is that you? And I was like, no, that's the pipes. So that's why we're moving. I don't even know what all these wires do. And if I can get electrocuted or not. I'm assuming I can, but mm. there's enormous there's an enormous amount of that's definitely questionable just... things. I don't know how he passed his English. Oh, okay, I got really <laughs> scared. <laughs> but yeah, that's what my dad explained to me. And before, actually, when we came down here, what happens is if there's an excess mm. amount of pressure, this lever, mm -hmm. you push this. I'm not touching that shit. You push that lever, and it releases water. It sprays it and drips it down. So, when we came here last time, 
This pipe was screwed off. My father screwed it back on. This pipe was screwed off. So wow. when you push the lever, boiling water just shoots out a centimeter from your fingers. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Then, if you pump too much water, even though you're trying to get the PSI up, if you pump too much water, it spills out not only from the radiators, but forms a pool of water down here, which at times has been known to extinguish the pilot light. That's what our problem is. And the pi without the pilot light, you can't relight the heat at all. Of course. So, that is the situation. That is incredible. And it does smell weird down here. I really hope that that's not anything to do with gas. But my father said that these wires here are supposed to lead to a damper that mixes fresh air with the fumes from the furnace mm -hmm. to, to, cause, uh, to create carbon dioxide instead of carbon monoxide. Because a, ham because a damper isn't attached, at least that's what he told me, mm -hmm. um, there is a risk of carbon monoxide being produced, which is why we're all concerned about making sure that the, the alarms work and such. Mm -hmm. But that's why we call, you know, that's why whoever it was that called inspection called inspection. Because, yeah, you know, he comes and he turns the heat on, but it's not turning the heat on because that's just curing the symptoms. We don't want the symptoms cured, we want the problem cured, and I don't feel safe living here. Yeah, definitely. And there was something, they came down here last night, and I feel like they did something here. I feel like they connected something here because this didn't look like this before. My father took photos, so we have proof that it didn't look like this before. All right, that's good. But, mm -hmm. Thanks, Phil. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Thankfully, my friends have moved out of that house, and they're in a new house now. I haven't seen this new house yet, but... I'm sure you could live in a box and it would be better than this, you know?